Hello guys and welcome to another mod review. This is a review of the Mining Construction Economy version 4. My second recording. As the first one decided to fall over just as I went into editing and couldn't be recovered. So as I've already done a tour of the map already myself, I know where things are this time. So here we go. Right, this is a remake basically of the Gold Crest Valley map, as you can see. This area here, there's a lot of sales points. As you can see, there's quite a lot down there. We have up here, uh, open cast mining. And a few little alterations here and there. So I'll just give you a tour, so you know what the main things are. So, on our map, yard. Yard hasn't changed particularly from the standard gold crest. Although the additions are that the cows are now located just here and our sheep are located just here and the mud works so exit in the yard this way we have down the road here we have vineyard now according to the garage if you wonder why there's a combine parked in there because it says here that you can harvest grapes and the header says you can harvest grapes however I tried that currently and as you can see the combine is still sat there and nothing's happened uh, now when I click on grapes off on map off map it doesn't appear in the field just here but this field neither does this field actually appear as a field so I don't know but anyhow coming back this way we have a little bit of road construction going on just here and if we head up Fast field 17 and up the hill here. John T, yeah. can you turn down a little bit? Hello. Just a little bit. Thank you. So, St. Mary's Farm is it's still. Down to zero. You don't have to. So, St. Mary's Farm is just there, and our animal dealers is there. And then that's where the whole the complex behind changes. We have sales points after sales points. This one's obviously in Russian. But there's definitely a sales point around here. Just there. Then if we go around various sales points or dump points just there. There's also one here for garden stone and one here for board pallets. And another one there, and there, and there, and there, and one in there as well. well that appears to be more of a silo. Another one, another one, another one, and one more. And then this is the edge of the map, by the way. You can go down there, but there seems to jump out, but there's nothing down there. So. Now, this is how to leg it out of here. In fact, the way we came. Okay, what else is different? Well, not a lot else over this bit. all the same it's all the same in there as well but over here we have some mining going on now we have river sand and trailings I don't know what trailings are exactly but now if we go over to here this little machine tells me river sand plus fuel equals river sand 2 and trailings So 
last round. See, no change there. So that's pointing still in the same place. Heading across down to here, where the cows were, there appears to be another south point, or three south points going to the screen. So, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five triggers there. So, so that hasn't changed up here as a south point. So if you look up here, the railway track has changed. Now, in the town, around by the back of the vehicle dealer, which hasn't changed, is tyre sales point. And over here, you can see if we run through the town, all workers are in the same places. So if we go around this way, this would be our cement plant. So gravel, sand, fuel, water, and something else, of course. Go down. There you go. Cement. Yeah. Cement, river sand, sand, and gravel equals concrete. So, if we go again, so there's our vineyard with our combine parts in the middle of it. Um, if we go back this way, nothing's changed again. So, there we go. Just to keep it up. That hasn't changed to the south point. Nothing's changed here. We have a production plant for board pallets. Now we've got timber yard. You can see our railway track still continues up there. So We go up this hill, we come to our next yard. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here we have all our trains obviously. We have various production points. So soil goes in there, along with water. We get gold, I think. The trailings is there. Sand and gravel. The compost master produces cement from limestone and diesel. There's a diesel filling point. Our garage. Uh, can't remember what who's there. So the three trigger points and then production at the end. Trailings, diesel and water produces garden stone and gravel. And then we have powder stone, whatever that is. And then we have asphalt, sand and gravel, sand over sand, rubble, tar and coal. Sand and gravel. And whatever that is, the mortar. And something pops up in it. <coughs> now, can you jump over? No. Okay, put in effect. Now, over this way, through the mud, we have an open cast mine, basically. 
You can't get inside those excavators. So you're going to have to download some kind of cat mod. I did a video review of that last. Which might be useful for this map. But we have limestone. To be quarried there. We have stone to be quarried there. We have a very large pond. Sorry. We have soil just here. And we have coal down there. Remember all of those products need to be taken back up to there. Now the mods from cat mod version 2 pack as excavators which can excavate up to 25,000 litres at a time, so it might be a very useful mod to have on this map. But coming back down the hill, nothing's changed down that, end, that way at all. Nothing's changed this way, except up on here. And by the petrol station, there's a building which is a winery. So, you up to here, and close what's going on. So, grapes, water produces port wine, grape juice, and red wine. So, out there, and that really is about it on this map for the changes. Otherwise, it is a standard Gold Quest map. I don't think we expect it, but a few small alterations. So we have that's tar storage. And that's another storage point. And this is our bio plant for biodiesel, tar again, and wood chips. And that is a really about that. Now, I'm going to see if this combine can be used on this field at all. But I'm just going to speed up time a second. Because I don't understand how else. I can physically get this to work. So we'll just shoot past time a little bit and see what happens. See if anything changes. Give it a few days. Okay, that does. Okay. We can't hire a worker. Okay, so that doesn't seem to want to work. However, I'm just reading the notes now as I'm doing this. It says, Grapes is a new crop type and growing like any other fruit needs seeding and harvesting. For harvesting, don't use the default machinery. Oops. Because it creates errors and crashes the game. Oops. Um, we need to wait for someone to release a mod for harvesting the grapes. Okay, well, there we go. You need a mod to harvest the grapes. So, just pause a second, one second. Right, 
Sorry about that. Scrolling down the page. Well, I'm also reading the some more this uh, about you have to wait for excavators, dumpers and trucks etc to arrive at a part of all the map. Um, you will need the universal processing kit as well for various functions on the map. So cat pack might be useful on this map. So if you want this map or want to investigate further please find the link in the description. If you like the video click a like. If you wish to subscribe please subscribe otherwise we'll see you in the next video guys. Thank you and goodbye.